can you guess where we're going today? <laughs> Miss Florida living in Florida. <laughs> oh, and the cutest part is we are going with Sawyer's high school best friend, Theo, his wife, and his two kids. We're gonna experience Disney a little different today with toddlers. <laughs> Well, three toddlers. Well, yeah, say, yeah, that's actually true. I'm Kevin as a toddler. Hey, On the other side, cute little Ariel. Okay, I would say that Doug is a hit. just got home and today was a lot of fun it was really hot and really busy but it was fun going with kids it was like a totally different experience we got to ride different rides and it was really cool seeing how excited they got at the park so anyways fun day now we're back home and I need to jump into gear <laughs> I leave town on Wednesday and today is Monday I'm going home to Utah to see my brother and my future sister-in-law it's her bachelorette weekend so we're going up to Jackson Hole to celebrate her I'm very excited because I have never been to Jackson Hole so it should be a lot of fun that being said I needed to order some cute new outfits for her bachelorette um, I'm going to bring my cowboy boots and cowboy hats of course because like this is the perfect opportunity so I ordered some new outfits on wall come on pants good boys go come on <laughs> So anyways, <laughs> they ordered some new outfits on Walmart that'll go perfect, and I think it'll be really fun for summer in Jackson Hole. So I'm gonna show you guys what I found, and I even teamed up with Walmart for this video to share with you some of these on-trend affordable summer finds, and it was so easy. I just jumped on the Walmart app, added everything to my cart, and I swear I just selected like next day or two day delivery, and now it's all here. Uh, cute new outfits for her bachelorette. So let's go ahead and do a quick little try on haul and see what I will be bringing with me on my trip. So the first outfit that I put together is this orange floral slip dress and it is very flattering. You don't even need to wear a bra with it. I'm in love with this slit because it can open high if you want it to, but it naturally falls closed. And I just paired it with a pair of white chunky sneakers. It gives like a girly vibe up top with a sporty casual vibe on bottom. It's very cute with a pair of like tan cowboy boots. So I'm kind of feeling this for a fun day look. I love a good white dress. I always gravitate towards these because they're just so easy to either dress up or make casual. It has a little waist tie and it has like a puffy sleeve. Okay, I'm obsessed with this next look. So this is my Sporty Spice vibe. I think this is so much fun. So this is by uh, Love and Sports, it's one of their athletic brands, and it has these track shorts with the matching sports bra. First, when I unbox this, I'm like, ooh, the orange doesn't match. But once I put it on, I'm like, wait, this kind of works because all the purple is the same exact color. So it definitely is supposed to go together. And then how cute are these tennis shoes with a pop of green, so really fun and bright. So fun. Oh, and there's a hood inside of this jacket. So perfect for here in Florida because it rains every five minutes. In fact, it was just pouring. <laughs> Wait, this is so cute on. This is like the perfect little summer dress and the perfect dress to bring to Jackson Hole. It's like kind of carefree, but yet girly and sweet and it has a cute little like soft floral print to it. A black knit dress by Free Assembly and there's a little slit at the bottom, or actually on the side, my bad. And I think this is a very chic option for summer, like a little black dress. And I paired it with a pink sandal. It's actually like a linen material. I think this is a very, like I said, very chic choice for summer. It's very classy, elegant, and with a pop of color on the bottom, makes it really fun for summer. I feel like my packing is pretty much done already. Like I feel like most of this is going to be coming with me. So I can't believe jean skirts are back. Like that's crazy. So I found this one by Free Assembly and then I just found a white button down. I tucked it in and I found this olive green belt. And I thought it'd be a cute little accent to this kind of trendier outfit. Trendy, but yet like classy, elegant, and still put together. This jean skirt fits so well. Okay, this is adorable. So I'm a sucker for a cute athletic look. And when I saw this tan skirt, I was like, I need. <laughs> and it fits so cute. It has these tan biker shorts. And I just paired it with a white athletic tank top. Um, I love these. I've had a few of these tops. They're great to work out in. They're great to just wear with a pair of jeans. Oh, and there's a pocket in the bikers. I could wear this skirt 
golfing. Last outfit option, and this was such a good find. The orange and pink stripes are so cute, and I love the different widths, and this just hugs in all the right places. Like, this is so cute. I really like this and I love it paired with the sneakers. So I'm very impressed with everything that I found on Walmart. Like this gives me a lot of options to work with when I am packing and a lot of cute, trendy summer looks. These all turned out so cute. They all fit adorably. So I'm gonna have everything linked down below. And I'll also put my sizes for reference. Just make your life easier. Click everything down below and find yourself some cute, affordable options for summer. Like I still can't get over how cute this orange knit dress is. Anyways, I am going to get out of this, get back into my other clothes so we can figure out what I need to do to pack for my trip. Oh my gosh, the state of this room is driving me nuts. Huh, Daisy, see, this is a mess. Say, Mama, get your stuff together. Mm. So, as you can clearly see, <laughs> the state of my guest room is obnoxious ridiculous, absurd, unnecessary. <laughs> so before we pack for my trip, I am going to get this room back in order, functioning, put away, and a little more organized. Um, it's just, I can't function. I started by just like throwing things, like all my travel bags, and then things just kept piling. And I have suitcases in here, I have stuff for our wedding, I have my wedding dress hanging up. Like literally everything in the closet is like out. So I am going to spend tonight, <laughs> actually will feel really nice, but I'm gonna spend this evening getting this room back in order. And then I feel like tomorrow I can pack for my trip and know I'm leaving my house in like a functioning state. I would like to say I have a plan for this, but I don't. So please enjoy this cleaning slash organizing slash put away time lapse. <laughs> Oh my walk in God, here. this is incredible. <laughs> Where did it all when go? Can. When you organize and do things in there, it helps. Where did it all go? In there. Looks good. Yeah, much better. Looks all better. in a day's work. As yeah. cheesy as that sounds, this looks so much better. The dresser is cleared off. The closet is functioning. That feels so good. I feel like that is it. For tonight, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go figure out dinner for Sawyer and I, but tomorrow we have a full day getting ready to leave town. I am very happy with this. I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Today is the day before I leave for Utah and I have a day full of packing and getting ready so I started the day off with Pilates. Um, now I'm actually headed to a massage. I found a new massage therapist that is not like a relaxing massage. It's more of like almost physical therapy. Um, they call it like soft tissue adjusting um, or adjustments and it crazy it, it works wonders so anyways very excited about that um and then i have a few other things I've got to do today get my nails done but we'll get there so i'm gonna head in to my massage now and have a kind of a little self-care moment i should say relaxation <laughs> but self-care and then we will get to packing um i'm excited to see my brother and i know he's very excited to see me so it'll be nice okay I'll be back. So I am just getting home and oh my gosh, my back feels so much better. Um, highly recommend looking for somebody like that. He helped me really figure out, I have this like clicking in my back along my spine when I turn a certain way and um, it seems like my ligaments around my spine have, um, what's the word, loosened or stretched. So um, I really need to strengthen my back because it causes me some back pain. And so anyways, figured that out, which really helped because I felt like I was going crazy every time I would make that noise. <laughs> I didn't want it to be something that could like 
not be great in the future. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside, see what Sawyer's up to, eat some lunch, and see what's next on my agenda today. This whole day I've been vlogging from the car. Anyways, <laughs> um, nothing um, exciting was going on at home. I quickly ate lunch and um, got some things um, together. Excuse me, car. Um, and then I had to get to my nail appointment. So, I'm almost there. And we're gonna get my nails handled because they're looking pretty sad. So, um, to the nail salon we go. are done and they look so much better and this new guy I've been going to um, he does them so thin and I am very thankful for that they just look so much more natural so now I'm officially heading home <laughs> to finally start packing you guys are crazy Oof. okay everyone out mama's got to pack I am contemplating pushing my flight one day I don't know if you remember, but I had said I was buying rose bushes. <laughs> well, they just arrived like literally 10 minutes ago, and my flight leaves early tomorrow. And I can't let those rose bushes sit in a box for 10 days. We can get those in the ground before I leave, but I still want to get packed so that way I'm just done and it's just off my mind. <laughs> um, so, that being said, I got new suitcases, just a Samsonite set. I've had many of their suitcases. Honestly, they last me forever. There's three in here. There's like a small, medium, and large. So I'm actually gonna bring the carry-on and the larger one with me. Start pulling things from the closet and I'll start packing and just have a nice leisurely packing afternoon. It's raining outside, so it's raining like downpour, thunder, and lightning. Are you helping mama pack? Are you helping mama back? Did you put your mouth in my suitcase? Did I need that on my trip? You're sweet. She just has grown into her little personality and it's been really cool to watch. Huh, Maple? All right, back to back. So I am almost packed. I finished my big suitcase. I'm working on my carry-on. Uh, the beauty of going home to my brother and sister-in-law is I don't need to pack that much because she has everything. I, I'm, I'm like 99% sure I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna change my flight to um, Friday so that way I can plant my rose garden and get a few things done here. Um, before I head home. Plus, like my brother and my sister-in-law um, work till Friday, so I don't even know what I was thinking. I thought they were getting it off, but here we are. Changing it to Friday and planting a rose garden tomorrow, huh? Hopefully it won't rain. <laughs> See, look, look. These are all of my roses, so I guess that's tomorrow's game plan. <laughs> oh, wow, that's so cool. You ready? <laughs> yeah. Cool. Of course I'm ready. I had my nails done yesterday. My, me too. Right. <laughs> that figure. Hi, did you miss grandma? Good morning. Today is a very exciting day because we are planting the rose garden. There are 14 rose bushes in these boxes, which is honestly really impressive. Um, so I have planted from heirloom roses before and it's super simple. They give you instructions on how to do it, how to take care of them and like what to expect because these right now are pruned and boxed for like travel. So it will take a second for them to grow in, but it'll be really exciting to see the rose garden all come together. So uh, Carrie just walked in. She's going to help me knock this out and get this done properly. And yeah, so we're going to head outside, make sure the ground is good and then see what's in these boxes. So let the planting begin. You're not getting me on camera, look at how I look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready. say that, but I always sneak you in there. <laughs> Karen and I are gonna quickly pull some of these weeds. We had, uh, what were those sweet potato vines growing and they grow like weeds. So we're gonna just tend to this for a quick second and then open up the boxes and see what we're dealing with. Of course 
are doing yard work next door. <laughs> Use some potting soil to fill, dig two feet wide. No granular fer fertilizer, which I ordered the ones from them. Um, I did that last time and it worked like a charm. And then water, one to two inches a week. No problem here because it's been raining like six inches a day. <laughs> These boxes are great for me for moving unless you gotta keep them. No, take them. So what I was thinking is doing a row of white bushes in the front. Pink, apricotty ones next. And then doing a climbing here, a climbing there and I can add something that I can climb up and then climb over the fence. You think that would work? Yeah. I'll have to order more, but I don't want to order 30 Too and then have them all die. Right, not have anybody to do them with you. This way you suck me over for at least 14 of them. All right, put them where you think they go. You know their colors? Um, I know polka is kind of orangey. All right, all rose bushes have been placed, so now we're gonna get them in the ground. That took some time, but whew, it'll look so pretty. And we're just gonna order some climbing rose bushes, and huh, this is gonna look ridiculous. This is awesome. Oh, I see, you're smart. You've done this before, Karen. <laughs> It's so hot out here, even my camera stopped recording. But we finished planting all of the rose bushes. It looks so good so far. This will be so cool once it grows in. Uh, we have a big plan with ordering more climbing rose bushes, adding a few more at the end, and then adding in some like lavender and more like whimsical cottage uh, plants. Oh my gosh, it's hot. I'm we're drenched. So we're gonna go inside because it's. Yeah, it's too hot, but we did it. We did it in like record time. And I only broke one nail. That's that's a plus. <laughs> oh my gosh, come here, come here. Uh, uh, I don't even have words. I have absolutely <laughs> worn myself out. That was so hot out there. That was almost unbearable. I think I broke Karen. <laughs> I told her, I was like, I don't think you're gonna come over and help me anymore. She's like, nope, that's it for June. <laughs> you used all your, uh, what'd she say? You used all of your vouchers or something. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Anyways, um, I consider today being very successful. I am so glad I changed my flight so that way I was able to get that done and get those rose bushes in the ground because I don't think the rose bushes would have lasted 10 days in the box. Plus you're not supposed to do that. So I cannot wait to get back from my trip and see how they have already grown. So that'll be really cool. And very thankful that Karen came and helped me. That made it go by twice as fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I am so sweaty and exhausted. I'm gonna go shower and finish packing and just relax. Um, I think we planned that perfect because there is a storm coming. So that is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Off to Utah we go.